dating can be a real drag. And dating while having a mental illness is just plain daunting. Kenda's friends had bought her subscription to Match.com and she was having very little luck. And then Phil was also on Match.com and he was just ready to throw in the towel. <laughs> Yet on one snowy day, they found their hearts just melting just a little bit, just a little. This is the story of their first date, how it happened both inside and outside their heads. And you know what? It all began with a wink. <laughs> that somebody winked at me. What's wrong with her? <laughs> Hi, thanks for winking at me. I really like your smile. I like what you said about liking smart women. What's your favorite thing about Scrabble? I'm Kenda. Hi, I'm Phil. Thanks for the wink. I love it when a high scoring word comes together without a plan. Would you like to meet for coffee? <laughs> Sure. Where's your favorite place to go? Well, I like the Java house, but really we should go wherever you feel comfortable. Wow. He's really considerate. He cares if I'm comfortable? Who is this guy? <laughs> Let's meet at higher ground, Monday, 5.30. Wow. A date? An actual date? I know this isn't going to go anywhere, but it's nice to have a date. said he was going to be taller. I'm going to need this glass of wine. <laughs> Hi, Kenda. Wine? She orders wine at a coffee shop? <laughs> Who is this girl? <laughs> She's probably way too classy for me. So, uh, what do you like to do? Well, I just got off work. I'm an anthropologist. What do you do for a living? Shit. <laughs> Kidding me? Yes, right off the bat. I might as well have left the car running. Um, I'm on disability. Huh. What does this mean? He doesn't look hurt. Can I ask why? Is that rude? So much for his volunteering being because of his trust fund. <laughs> So, this might be, can I ask, why are you on disability? Oh, no problem. I have bipolar one disorder. Bipolar one? There's more than one? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Oh well, this might be a short date. But he doesn't seem crazy. He seems so nice and confident and he's got nice arms. <laughs> what have I got to lose? I'm an anthropologist. I can always ask questions. Plus, aren't I trained to be open-minded? So, what is bipolar one? I've heard of bipolar. Sure. It's a mental illness. I've had a major manic event, so that's why I'm a one. I'm stable and have been for over a decade. I'm on disability because I can't work with my condition, so I volunteer for NAMI. Cool. I've heard of NAMI, but remind me what it stands for. It's the National Alliance on Mental Illness. I'm currently the Vice President of the Board on Johnson County. That's awesome. Seriously, that's awesome. He must, must have some shit together if he can hold a leadership position. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you do for NAMI? Well, I'm a public speaker. I travel around the area and give talks to anyone who will listen about mental illness and stigma. That's really cool and really needed. I don't think people know much about mental illness. I don't know much about mental illness, and I'm on antidepressants. <laughs> so, what's it been like for you? Well, uh, it's been an interesting ride. 
it started out when I was 15 and diagnosed with depression with psychotic features. And I've been to a psych ward five times. <coughs> Good Lord. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Psychotic? So, when was the last time you were hospitalized? <laughs> oh, I've been in stable for at least 10 years. That's a long time. That's a long time. <laughs> so, I struggled with some mental stuff too. I'm on medication for anxiety and depression, and I see a therapist. Actually, my sister watched Lifetime for a semester locked in her room. She's okay now, yet my mom still thinks no one in the family has had a mental illness. <laughs> so, do you have to take meds? I have to take many, many meds. I've heard bipolar people have a hard time staying on their meds. But I'm fully compliant. I take my medication every day, a couple of times a day. I have very miserable highs and lows. I'm on three antidepressants, hmm. a mood stabilizer. I wonder if he can still get it up. <laughs> I don't help the stomach at all. That's a lot. Yeah, pharmacists like me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I think I'm ready to talk about something else. So, what do you do for fun? Well, I like to play bocce ball in the summer. I played bocce ball. How'd you get into bocce ball? Oh, a friend's parents had a court when I was a kid, and we used to play neighborhood block parties all the time. Wait, there's a court in bocce ball? That's intense. Yeah, some people get real serious about it. What exactly do you like to do? Well, I'm an anthropologist, and I do research at a local hospital. That's interesting. What kind of research? Well, right now, I'm working on smoking cessation and the reorganization of primary care into teams. Mostly, I interview people. I did my doctoral work on Palestinian women's soccer in Israel. Hmm. Really? <laughs> you don't say. That does sound interesting. <laughs> I have no idea what she just said. <laughs> I know what smoking is. I know what primary care is. I know what soccer is. But that's about it. <laughs> She's very pretty, though, and sounds smart. I do like smart women. <laughs> so for how long have you lived here? Well. I went to grad school here. It's been a little over 10 years. What about you? I've lived in Iowa City most of my life. I was born and raised here. I did go to Luther for a couple of years for college. Oh, really? Luther? I have a friend who went there. Also, Dave Matthews played there. Were you there then? Yeah, Luther, and uh, no, that was just before my time. <laughs> I like Dave Matthews, though, and found a bootleg recording of a concert he played as a thank you for recording live at Luther. That's amazing. <laughs> I love that CD. I've seen them in concert a few times. Are you into music? I've seen them in concert a few times as well. I like music in general, but I really like early hip hop. I used to play the drums in bands, really all types of bands. Fascinating. <laughs> what was your band name? Positive Mental Octopus. <laughs> was the first one. The last one I played with was still in the Hellbellies. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, that is hilarious. So did you play around town? Yeah, we played games a few times. We used to play Coffee Cellars, which is now the Yacht Club, and we have played the Mill. Wow. Holy crap. He may be too cool for me. I know nothing about music. That's really cool. I know nothing about music. <laughs> Impressed by my friends who play. I think it's amazing. Yeah, I used to do pirate radio. My name was DJ Fizzle. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious and ridiculous. Is this guy stuck in the 90s? He's pretty funny. So, what, Ruth, what sorts of things are you into? Well, I like knitting and weaving and spinning. I also like to cook, I'm really into food. Great. Now he probably thinks I'm an old lady with cats. <laughs> Food? She's a foodie? She's going to know I only make macaroni and frozen pizzas. <laughs> Plus, I bet she has cats. <laughs> Do you have any pets? Yeah, I have a dog named Cowboy. He's a golden retriever cross and a huge dork. Look at him. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Do you have a dog? No, but I used to. My mom and I like to adopt rescue dogs. 
They don't live much longer, but it's nice to give them a good home. That's so sweet. But it's getting late. I'm enjoying talking with him, though, but I'm really getting hungry. I wonder if he'd like to go somewhere. That's so awesome. Cowboy's a rescue, too. So, where are your favorite places to eat in town? Um, <laughs> I like shorts. Shorts? I love shorts. They have the best burgers in town next to George's. I love George's burgers. Nice. <laughs> He's a, he knows good burgers. <laughs> So, it's not burgers, but Bandito's is just down the street. Are you hungry? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Sweet, let's go. <laughs> so, I had a really nice time. That was fun. I have to be honest though, I think I'm gonna need to take things slowly. But he didn't have any red flags. I just don't know what dating someone with bipolar would really mean. But he's so funny and smart, and I like him. I think I like like him. Sure, I understand. I had a nice time too. Have a good night. Well, that was fun. I certainly do wish I could see her again, but I know better. Nobody wants a bipolar boyfriend. In case you're wondering, they're still together.